So you know how the old saying goes, well, it's only got to last so long and then it's not going to be my problem. It'll be somebody else's problem. Well, guess what? I'm somebody else. So I'm digging my ditch here. Yeah. Yada yada. And all of a sudden, snap, I hit some wires. Yeah, so when I'm digging, that's what I hit. I punctured this. I could have sent Farmer G for quite a ride had this been live. Thankfully it wasn't. Um, I had no idea these wires were here. There's no conduit and there's no rock telling me that, um, you know, that's a good warning sign that there'd be rock here. Um, I'm assuming that at one point in time these wires went into the garage right here because there looked like there was a lighting hanging at one time but there's nothing going on in there and the tool shed over there there used to be something in there but there's there's no electricity in there i really don't know what's going on with this but um you know you can tell this has been in the ground for a while so i mean even if this was direct burial wire i don't know that it is i'm assuming it's not but even let's say it was direct burial wire I mean, there should still be some kind of warning sign that you're about to hit some wires. Just common courtesy for the next guy showing up working on a job that doesn't know any different. This could have been done right with just a few dollars in material and a couple minutes worth of work. And been a whole lot safer. A point of this whole video here is if you're going to put wire in the ground, put it in some conduit. If you're not going to put it in conduit, put some rock on it, above it as a warning sign or even still put some uh put some caution tape above it so that's a warning sign do something please i don't need to be getting electrocuted so right here you can see that they put a ton of rock in as you got close to the pipe here warning sign there's a pipe there's something in the ground here that was nice have a little bit of a warning there